Hello all, uh, welcome to another session. So in this session, I will be uh, doing the very important configuration in S SAP S4 HANA. Uh, once uh, when the, the major changes happen in this screen. So in ACC, we used to create uh, uh, ledger and currencies uh, different differently, uh, different different transaction code. In S when, when it comes to S4 HANA, we have one single transaction code that is the uh, things underscore ledger. We will be assigning uh, multiple ledgers and uh, we can create an extension ledger and we can assign multiple uh, multiple currencies to our company code. So let's get started. So for this, uh, I'm accessing the transaction code things underscore ledger since underscore has here so this is this transaction code is like a hot hot to sap fico module so if you have any inconsistency in this screen then system will not allow us to post any document okay so so this is my uh, leading ledger so here you can see the leading ledger so uh, before that I will come from here the global currency current version. This is not required. These two are not required uh, So then generally here we will be having all the types of uh, Currencies which will be the default given by SAP and here we can be select as a company code currency and control currency and Then this one main thing here uh, currency conversion settings for company code so here Select nine. So here we have to maintain our company our company code. So here sorry, just click on uh, new entries. So my I have two company codes, right? Uh, one is uh, two zero zero nine, which is INR, and another one is two zero one zero, which is uh, UST. So here, currency valuation type thirty, group currency, and uh, uh, currency it will automatically come. The source currency here we have to mention source currency. So here I am mentioning the uh, document currency 00 and here then exchange rate type the standard exchange rate type I have I'm taking as a standard exchange rate type and then here translation date uh, transaction date type as a translation date and then hit enter so here we can see uh, so for the company code 2009 I'm giving the currency valuation translation at 30 whenever there is a document posted in a uh, source currency it means the document posted in a uh, zero zero source currency that will be converted as a, a group currency based on this configuration system will uh, convert the document to local currency to uh, local currency to group currency so if you want we can give here 10 as 10 also company code currency to group currency if you want we can convert some company code currency to group currency or if you want a document currency to group currency also we can do that okay then click on save here Just click on save so I have saved this entries then now we'll go to lecture so here we have a leading ledger in the first uh, I will show the leading ledger and then we'll create a non leading ledger I'm going into company code settings here and then click on here so uh, my two companies are 2009 and 2010 uh, these two are my company codes so here you can see the local currency is 10 and group currency is 30 so I have not mentioned any freely defined currencies now here so if you can if i can see okay so here you can see the physical year variant is k4 and posting period variant is also same uh, k4 means uh, jan to december so here my local principal ledger is uh, coming lagp and here you can see the currencies here 
if we have assigned multiple currency so we can see all those multiple currencies here as well okay in the same way we have 2010 as well so just double click on here so here system is saying uh, assign and shell physically rewind to all the company code assigned to group uh, within the ledger okay this is uh, not uh, my company code uh, system is saying document splitting is active in company code 2010 we will see this one as well later then click on continue here so the same uh, same way here also we have a free clear variant and everything is there so now i am coming back one step back so i am creating a new ledger uh, by copying the any other ledger standard ledger this is not a standard ledger this is not a building ledger okay okay let me call create one new ledger here which is uh, 21 no h2 building ledger and yeah hold on so and it is already agrees with the same thing okay and we can add up to h two h is also already there so in that case i will mention h h so okay hold on okay da okay so if it is uh leading ledger then only we need to select this option and then uh, ledger type so this is a standard ledger no this is non-leading ledger extension non-leading ledger uh, if it is a leading ledger then only we need to select either standard ledger otherwise uh, it will be normal normal and if it is extension ledger we need to select either extension ledger this is not an extension ledger it is a standard extension ledger type if we select the extension ledger then only this option will be populated here so so here valuation type legal valuation only then hit enter and then click on save here okay then click on this uh, ledger and here company called level so as we discussed earlier uh, we have i have created two company codes which is uh, uh, 2009 let me open another session why why zero two So here we have uh, created two company code which is a 2009 Honda India Private Limited and a 2010 Honda US Private Limited. So here my US company code is a uh, main company code, main company and this is a child company. So uh, with the help of this leading ledger I will be publishing the financial in a USD, USD currency, crude currency. Uh, when it comes to uh, Honda, uh, I need to publish the uh, I need to publish the financial statement separately. In that case, I will be creating the non-leading ledger. Uh, in that non-leading ledger, I will be assigning the uh, uh, company code. So here, I am assigning the company code as two zero zero nine. And also here, I am taking the physical year variant as V three. And then here, the posting period variant would be same. And accounting principal IFRS. Okay, then click on save here. Data has been saved now. Now go one come one step back now. So now we are getting only one issue, uh, one warning message, which is a document splitting. Uh, I will come to this one. Come one step back. Yeah, that's all uh, in this transaction code we have to do. 
and then we need to uh, execute the check one transaction code which is uh, which will uh, check the consistency for this company codes and uh, if any issues are there it will uh, system will tell us uh, so for that uh, i'm accessing the transaction code sprgo and click on img reference and here financial accounting general ledger accounting no? Uh, financial economic global settings and ledgers and again ledger uh, here define settings for ledger is this sims underscore ledger the accurate ledger ledger group okay this one so execute consistency check for the general ledger settings so just click on this one So here we have these many issues. Uh, let me check uh, if my company code is there or not. Two zero zero nine. Okay, so document splitting is active in company code two zero zero nine. Activate the profit center accounting controlling layer two zero zero one. Only this issue. So here system is saying document splitting is activated for these two company codes uh, when the document splitting is activated then in that case we need to activate the profit center accounting as well to post the documents okay i will be covering this uh, document splitting in a separate class and that time also i will explain this profit center accounting as well okay uh, so that's all in this section i hope uh, you guys have a you guys have understood this session. Thank you so much.